I'm David Roberts and I manage the technical documentation group here at Vintage Air. Today we're going to be talking about capillary tube installation for the Gen 2 evaporator. The capillary tube is basically a thermometer probe that monitors the evaporator coil's temperature to determine when the compressor clutch needs to be switched on or switched off to prevent freezing of the coil. On Gen 2 evaporators, the capillary tube is inserted into the coil by the customer at the time of installation and it's a really easy, straightforward procedure. Before installing the capillary tube, the first thing you will need to do is find the locating sticker on the top of your evaporator case. As you can see, the locating sticker is the one with the big blue dot on it. Now, one quick tip before we start. While it is possible to install the capillary tube with the evaporator mounted in the vehicle, we have found that it is much easier if you install it with the evaporator unit sitting on the vehicle floorboard just before mounting the evaporator behind the dash. So when you're ready to install the capillary tube, uncoil the tube from the thermostat. Then, measure to a length of about four and a half inches and mark it at that point. As you're uncoiling the tube, inspect it for cuts and kinks. The inside of the tube is filled with gas, and if the tube gets damaged, it may not function properly, causing the evaporator to freeze during operation. Be sure to also take a look at the tip of the capillary tube. As you can see, the end of the tube is crimped. It looks like a little notch. If this crimp is not present, it means the capillary tube has been cut or otherwise damaged, and the thermostat will need to be replaced. Once you've unrolled and marked the capillary tube at about four and a half inches, and determined there are no kinks or cuts, insert the tube through the blue dot on the locating sticker and into the evaporator coil to the entire depth of four and a half inches. As you can see, in some cases, it may be necessary to wiggle the tube just a bit while inserting it, but be sure to go straight down into the coil and not at an angle. And don't worry that by inserting the tube, you're going to cause damage to the coil. Remember, before your evaporator is shipped to you, our quality assurance team tests every coil to make sure it will accept the capillary tube at the proper location. And that's all there is to it. Once you've inserted the capillary tube into the coil, you can proceed forward with the instructions that were included with your kit. And if you have any questions or run into anything that doesn't quite make sense, keep in mind that our knowledgeable tech team is just a phone call away, and they are always happy to assist you. On behalf of everyone here, I thank you for choosing Vintage Air, where performance is always first. Stay cool. <laughs> <laughs>